it is time now for another Tackle Review. Let's see what we will be talking about today. Welcome everyone to another Tackle Review. My name is Spencer. As you can tell, no Jacob here today. Don't worry, you will see him in the future. However, we do have a little bit of a different background. You may have noticed. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, I don't really care. You know what happened with the D R E. No, just kidding. Hopefully you do like it. And if you hadn't noticed today, we are talking about Lure Lock. Little background on Lure Lock. It's definitely a new product to the market in tackle management. Um, what they do is they have a lined bottom to all of their trays or they either have a sticky pad um, essentially that they can sell on its own. What it allows for is to keep your tackle in order. You're not gonna have hooks that are gonna be dulling, you're not gonna have lures flying around in tackle trays or in tackle boxes. It's just a better way to keep your tackle in order. Lure Lock does make a few different products. As you can see on either side of me, they have just the simple tray, small, medium, large. They also have a large tackle storage system. Um, if you know you're gonna have a lot of tackle going on, if you know you're a bass fisherman or you're have your hard baits, your jerk baits, your swim baits, your soft plastics, it's kind of all organized there for you. Um, they also have a couple other products that have a lure pad, and in my experience, this has kind of been my favorite little product that they have. It's a lot more versatile and I think it works the best. So what this comes down to is, is this product worth buying? You know, tackle trays and tackle boxes have been on the market for quite some time and there hasn't been much change until a this product here, Lure Lock. Um, I think it's a great idea. The, the stickiness definitely works to some degree. I've used it in the Florida heat for quite some time now. I switched out all of my tackle trays that I put in my tackle bag, used these instead. I've noticed that they work well for a fair amount of time, but I mean, if, you're, if this is in your backpack or if it's on a boat and you're going through a lot of like rough water, you're walking around, it doesn't work perfect, but it's still functional. You know, the goal of this, at least one of their selling points is, you know, your hooks aren't dulling, they're not gonna get tangled up. And for the most part, that is true. Now, if you are like me and you have, you know, a little slot for where your lure goes into and it's supposed to hold one, well, I put three in there, however really many it fits. Um, so it may not be, I might not be the best test for it, however, as far as keeping it secure, like I said, it's not 100%, but it's still good, it's good. So what I wanna focus on here is functionality, and I think it's functional to a degree. They advertise that it's good, I think, up to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I think they said negative 20 when you start losing the elasticity. Something about the product also is, okay, you think it's sticky, everything's gonna to stick to it. Yes, that's true, you know, dirt sand will get on it. However, benefit, Put it under a hose, put it in your sink. Pretty thirsty. Nice job, Chris. You got my shirt wet. You know, it washes right out and it stays sticky. That is a bonus. So like I said, I'm more of a land-based fisherman. Um, at least that's what I do primarily. And so having these in my backpack were helpful. Also not necessary, but I did notice it, it worked. It worked most of the time. Now there is one product that I spoke about earlier that I did find really useful and that was the lure pad here. This product, I feel, has so much versatility because it's not limited just to being at the bottom of your tackle tray. I think Lure Lock did a great job with this very simple product. Like I said, I found it most useful for my phone. Countless times it'll be on a center console or even a bass boat, and you're like, okay, where do I keep my phone out to where I can still use it? You know, sometimes you're using it for your GPS, you know, if your nav system isn't working or if you wanna just have your phone available to you if you wanna take photos or whatever, instead of shuffling through a little box or a compartment, you stick this on your dash or on the top of the center console, put your phone on it, it's not going anywhere. And it's sticky and super sticky and it doesn't leave a residue, which is a bonus. And that's the same for the lures. If you were worried like, oh, my lures are gonna get all nasty and smell weird and fish aren't gonna bite them, not true. So if I had to kind of go in order of most useful product for me to least useful, um, like I said, this is just for me. I'm more of a land-based fisherman. This might be different for you if you're on a boat most of the time. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Um, but I'll start from the bottom and go to the top. 
I will start with this bad boy over here. This is gonna be their latest um, product. It's gonna be the Tackle Box, essentially. Um, I forget the uh, actual name that they have for it, but essentially it fits five tackle trays in it. And um, this is going to be the large version. So these are the largest trays that they have. And it really just kind of keeps everything together for you. Now, if you have um, a, a hatch on your boat that that fits in perfect, then this is a, definitely for you. But I will say it's, it is very sturdy, it's a plus, but at the same time, it's also very heavy. Um, it has a, a center little handle here on top, which it makes sense, definitely, um, but it's very cumbersome. It's not like if you're a land-based fisherman, you're not gonna use this, unless you're just going to and from your vehicle from your house or something like that. This isn't gonna be your tackle box. It kind of reverts back to, you know, the 1900s, essentially, when it came to tackle management, where you had your Plano tackle box with the handle on top. like. It does its job, it's just not the best. You know, if I'm a land-based fisherman, I'm gonna have a backpack on, or I'm gonna have an over-the-shoulder bag, something like that. So, what I found a little more useful is on this side, and that's just gonna be the trays alone. Um, they have the three different sizes, small, medium, large. They work great. Um, medium fits perfect in my backpack. You might have a different size bag or compartment that this fits better in. Um, the medium seems to work best. And they have a couple different options when it comes to these trays as well. Some of them have the splitters or whatever you want to call in the box already predetermined like you have three rows essentially in most tackle trays. Well, they have that option or you can get a blank tray essentially where there's nothing in it and you can kind of create your own. And then after the tackle trays, the lure pad. I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but it is fantastic. The options for it are endless. I like using it for my phone. I like using it for a pair of pliers. I like using it for a lure. Let's say I'm in a rush, I need to change to another lure, and I don't want to take the time to take my tray out of my backpack, open it up, put the lure back in, put the tray back in my backpack, got this little handy thing. Toss the lure on it, press down, it's gonna stay there. Don't have to worry about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Let's say you forget that you changed your lure and you're gonna drive back to the boat ramp and it's still gonna be there. So very handy. I like it because you can put anything on it. But anyways, to the rating, lure lock as a whole, give it a 3.8. It's not a really high number, but it's not low. I think there's room for improvement, not necessarily from a research and development side on their end, but maybe just the way I use it isn't necessarily the way it was intended. It works well in a lot of situations, but it's almost a luxury, not a necessity. So hopefully you enjoyed the new setting, the new background, the new products. Hopefully we'll be seeing some other new stuff in the future, stuff that's more relevant, stuff that you have been wanting to see. So drop a like, hit subscribe if you wanna see those upcoming videos. Once again, my name is Spencer. This was a Slack Tide Tackle Review, and we'll see you on the next video.